Hey everybody, so today I had an amazing connection with Archangel Metatron and he had a message for you, for the world. Um, for those of you who don't know who Archangel Metatron is, because when you Google him, you're going to get a lot of crazy different perspectives on who he is. Uh, the one that he gave me was that he is associated with the prophet Enoch who wrote the stories of the archangel wars, okay, um, of the watchers and the fallen angels. And um, he is one of a few archangels that were actually human before they ascended to archangel, um, to an archangel. Not a lot of archangels have actually incarnated in a physical form. A lot of them are very close to the earth but they have never actually been been human before whereas archangel metatron was human he had a very open connection with god and um his writing is a little controversial so a lot of his stuff was taken out of the bibles of different um versions of the of different texts religious texts because he both denounced magic but also embraced magic at the same time because he understood that there is a double side to magic and to energy manipulation everything in the third dimension is is polarity everything is you know positive negative charges and the universe is constantly especially in our dimension constantly trying to balance those two forces so today he wants to talk about how to change the world around you without ever even having to open your mouth okay and by what he means by not even having to open your mouth is you can change the world around you without ever having to even tell other people your opinion or your feelings on a certain situation or your perspective you never have to even tell people um, and the way that this is done, he explained to me, is that you need to have your energy present and itself before, before you open your mouth, before you even introduce yourself. You have to have your energy introduce you, okay? You may hear often where people say like, oh, I love this, I love that girl, she has awesome vibes, or I love that guy, his vibe is great, right? That is because people can sense energy, whether they can sense it subconsciously or consciously, they can sense it, no matter what. Whether they are self-aware or un unaware, people can sense energy. So no matter what you do, your energy is presenting itself. So why is the world in chaos right now i'm gonna let that truck go by because this is extremely important what he's about to say the world is in chaos right now because a lot of people present negative energy first when they enter into a situation you go in with hesitation because maybe you don't want a confrontation you go in with the energy of fear you go in with the energy of anger you go in with the energy of sadness you go in with the energy of um a lot of self-doubt and what happens is is that energy has a negative vibration everything is on this spectrum we are in a we are in the third density meaning that everything that happens here is heavier has a high, has a heavier effect on other people's energy so if you walk into the room and you are carrying with you an anger spirit, <laughs> um, a sadness spirit, a um, hesitation spirit, a self-doubt spirit, or energy, you will project that into the environment. Now, if you are an empath and you don't know how to control what you, energy you absorb, instead of you changing the energy of the room which is really the power of the empath the power of the empath is not just to feel the energy of the room it's actually to be able to shift the energy of the room and if you don't if you don't allow yourself to learn how to let how to how to shift the energy rather than absorbing the energy you will always be miserable you will always want to be by yourself you will always want to feel you will always feel raw all the time you will always feel this raw almost painful energy from others and that's because you are a walking 
crystal. <laughs> Think of yourself as a crystal, right? And um, those who are empaths are basically like walking crystals. You're walking crystals that absorb, 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 but nobody ever cleanses you. Nobody ever clears you. Um, maybe you're a type of crystal, especially empaths, are usually crystals that can't clear themselves, right? If you're a selenite, you can't absorb negative energy, so you don't need to, you don't need that clearing. But if you are a tourmaline, right, um, you absorb ener and negative energy. That is your that is your gift, right? But your gift is also to transmute that energy to positive energy. So if you're not learning how to take that energy, absorb it, and transmute it, then you're always going to be in this cycle of anger, sadness. And what happens is because as an empath, you are also a megaphone. So not only are you an absorber, but you're also a megaphone. What happens is, is as an empath, you have all this wild energy and you take it and you just pour it out into the world in an unclean form. And what happens is, is that that actually causes destruction and it causes sadness and it causes violence in the world and it causes us to tear each other apart. This is what Archangel Metatron wants us to understand. You have the ability, this is what he said, you can change the world without even opening your mouth by changing yourself by changing your energy that doesn't mean that you become something that you're not but it means that you learn to accept those negative vibrations that are your own accept them and find out the reasoning behind them and allow yourself to transmute them of transmutation transmission transmutation whatever you want to call it <laughs> transmutation i'm sorry transmutation i kind of had a miss pronunciation there transmutation happens in what we call the healing process so if you're doing activities to heal yourself if you're doing energy healing if you're doing um if you're taking care of your body like you're eating better you're um you're exercising you are connecting to the earth you are um doing healing practices you are that may be whatever energy clearing practice you practice you're doing prayer you're doing meditation what you're doing is you're allowing the energy to balance itself naturally okay and then what happens is is that transmutation happens and you're able to actually transmute something that held you down that became so heavy because you're in the third density because you are a higher vibrational spirit that happened to downgrade itself to the third density in order to experience physical form because when you are in higher densities or higher dimensions you do not experience physical form the energy is too light to take atomic shape so the only place where you can take atomic shape is in the third density is in the third dimension and what happens is is because it is a denser dimension you also have denser emotions and what happens is what archangel metatron is trying to explain to us all is that because of that you instead of controlling your emotions which are your superpower your emotions are actually the your magical core either in turmoil or in harmony instead of controlling your emotions your emotions control you and when you walk into the room you walk into the room with a presence of anger with a presence of violence and through your vibration you affect your environment and then that next person is infected with your anger and you and then the next person is infected and then the next person is infected and then the next person is infected and it becomes a ripple effect and what happens is is instead of changing the world for the positive because you are unaware of your own energy and unaware of how you can shift and transmute your energy because you're just vomiting it out into the world what happens is it creates a ripple effect of negativity and that is what has been happening for centuries so long that we are no longer we are many humans are not even aware of what it is how is it that i become happy how is it that i experience the higher vibrations and that is because for so long our for generations after generations after generations we have been brought up on unhealed anger unhealed sadness unhealed depression unhealed violence 
okay and what happens is is that violence continues and continues and continues because it is infectious but positive energy is also infectious you can become extremely infectious without even opening your mouth you can change the world because by starting to change your own energy you don't change the world from the outside in you change the world from the inside out is what archangel metatron wants you to understand you change the world by changing your own energy first you change your own energy this is why so many activists that are angry do not actually cause a positive effect in the third density because these activists are working from a place of anger so when you are an activist and you are always angry about your cause and you're always fighting your cause you're always bringing the energy of violence of fight of anger and that energy is infectious and what happens is you can't create a positive out of a negative you can only transmute it through healing okay and it has to be done by changing ourselves first from the inside making our energy of infectious because here's what happens here's what archangel metatron wants us to understand because we are all connected in the law of one right if you if you study hermetic sciences because we are all connected in the law of one if one of us or many of us transmute the po the negative into positive and start to infect each other it is human nature to copy the energy of those people that they like so have you ever noticed yourself um this actually i learned a little bit about this in abnormal psychology which is where you study how serial killers work okay why serial killers think the way they think when i was in college but archangel metatron used this example in order to um explain this to me he said think about this have you ever found yourself copying things that you that you like from people you like right so people you love let's say you follow someone on the internet and all of a sudden you find yourself eating like them dressing like them wanting to do everything they do because you like this person that is called the law of one because you identify yourself in that person you start to copy them and that is what happens when you have really good energy is you draw people that want to copy you and if you do it with intention if you do have positive energy with an intention behind it you can change the world without even having to open your mouth because your intention is heard by the universe and mirrored back and then it's mirrored and it's projected to the other people and it becomes infectious now think about it infection is exponential right you infect one person with positive energy and that person holds that positive energy and infects another person you have now infected two people right if that those two people turn around and then they infect two other people with positive energy because they held that positive vibration i'm not talking about being positive and only pretending that the world is only positive that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about acknowledging your negative vibration transmuting it into a positive vibration that's not just about speaking positive words it's about the actual energy you hold here not what is coming out of your mouth not what is coming out of your brain what actually is coming out of your heart okay you have because you could be saying positive words and be a complete complete zombie on the inside okay and that's not positive it doesn't matter how positive you speak it doesn't matter um how positive you pretend to be you have to be in a state of actual positive being, not positive pretending, okay? Um, when you get yourself to a state of positive being, then you can go out into the world and infect other people with your energy, okay? The reason why humans tend to fall off of this is because they end up what happens is when you infect someone with your positivity, you absorb their negativity. But if you take the time, let's say I infect one person with the positivity, I absorb the negativity, but I know how to transmute that negativity into more positivity. So what happens is, is I actually gain superpowers because the more people I infect with my positivity, 
and I learned how to transmute it to, to um, I, tra I learned how to transmute negative energy to positive energy, constructive energy. What happens is I end up actually having superpowers because the more energy I receive and I learn to transmute and I learn to utilize, the more my powerful intention will grow. This is why witches who practice more tend to have higher powers, higher ability in whatever magic they practice. If they practice healing magic, they will grow in healing power. They will grow in in um, in creation power. If they if they practice dark magic, magic of malintention, they will grow in darkness. They will grow in that negative vibration and their energy can be sensed and the sad thing right now is that positive witches which is that focus on the positive vibration uh, of liberation of cleansing of healing of creation have been oppressed by religious beliefs okay because you don't want to be bad right so usually it's the rebels that and i'm not saying this for everybody but it's usually the rebels the ones who go against the grain who decide you know i'm going to take up magic and a lot of the rebels are the ones with the negative energy they're the ones that are that want to destroy rather than create right so therefore it's that is why it's extremely important for us as a collective to become aware of the polarity of magic okay because the polarity of magic is based on your intention it's based on whether you intend to create something positive or you intend to create something negative, some sort of effect, okay? And a lot of people will tell you magic doesn't have color and that's because they don't want to see color in magic. They don't want to see the truth that magic has also, it has a polarity as well. Everything in the third density has a polarity, whether it is dark, whether it is light, it has a polarity, okay? And then you have the in-between, okay? So what is the final message for him if you want to change the world start by changing you first start by changing your vibration first before you even start going to tell somebody else what they should be doing you need to be telling yourself what you should be doing because what happens is when you focus on other people you get to avoid your own internal healing and you are not in touch or present or aware of your own energy and you have no idea how it is that you are actually affecting the world that is the message from Archangel Metatron today. I hope that this helps you in whatever way it helps you in. And I hope that this sparks a healing within you. Before I go, I'm going to go ahead and do a energy activation from Archangel Metatron to activate healing in those who, who choose to receive this energy activation. For everyone who is watching, I am sending you love. I'm sending you love from Archangel Metatron. this time I want you to place the phone or the video in front of your heart chakra which is right here so that it can be open to healing it can be open to releasing all that no longer serves it and it can be open to positive change to releasing trauma and above all, open to love. With this energy, I choose, I want to purge. My intention is to purge you of all of the things that have been holding you back, of all of the emotions that have been controlling you in a negative way. I want to purge you with the power of Archangel Metatron in God's name. And that's all that I have for you today. I hope you have a blessed day. Many blessings.